the thing about optimization is instead of giving it a discrete number, you're going to give it a variable with an initial value. And from there, you're going to tell Ansys, hey, take this variable and go from here to here with this many steps. So here's how you do it. So um, instead of this number, uh, you're just going to put a letter or any variable. I'm going to put A. You could put any letter. I previously put A, so now it knows that A is a length and it's at 9.3, 9.375. Let's say the radius, we give it another variable B and is gonna say, okay, so this B variable, is it a length? Yes. Centimeters? Yes. Is the initial value 1.2? Yes. So we're gonna keep it that. So we're gonna, we have this A and B, okay, instead of values, although they, they have their inherent values. So now everything, runs the same. We haven't really practically changed anything physically, but if we go down here to optimetrics and we right click and we click add parametric, uh, we can go ahead and add the variable that we're interested in, let's say A initially. So we can try to change the, the, the length of the antenna. And again, we can do this in different ways. The easiest way is a linear step. So we can say, Hey, um, do like nine points, or let's make it a bit more in there. Let's just to get a big picture. Let's say we're going from nine centimeters to 10 centimeters, and we want a step size of 0 0.1, okay? So what that should give me is nine, 9.1, 9.2, all the way till 10. So it should give me 10 different values. And this may take some time to run, so let's just make it 0 0.2. So it's gonna give me five different values, okay? Um, so, oh, I forgot to add it. So yes, this A, from nine till 10 with a step size of 0 0.2. And I'm just gonna add it, okay? So I've told it what I want. Now it's gonna show up here. I'm gonna click okay. And now when I go and I run my analysis, uh, I already have a solution set up. I'm gonna just go and validate real quick. And let's say I go and analyze all. Um, now what's gonna happen is you'll see in the progress bar, instead of just running once, it's gonna solve it five different times. Um, so you'll see number one, number two, number three, and so on. So if I go to results and I create a modal solution data report for rectangular plot, and I'm just interested in the S11, um, what I'm gonna see is actually a bunch of different ones. And when I go on this red one, which is the best performing, right? Because S11, we want it to be on the bottom. So here, actually, at 800 megahertz, this is doing pretty well. And this is my 9 centimeter one. Um, so the performance of the 0 0.9 or, or the 9 centimeters is actually far better than all these other ones. So that's one thing you can do uh, with the length of the rod. Now, obviously, you could do the same thing with the radius of the monopole. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. You could see how that affects things. You could do this with the ground plane. So you can take the dimensions of the ground plane, um, make them bigger, make them smaller, see how the difference uh, in the size of the ground plane changes things. And even um, you, you could change this rectangular feet, see if the distance between the monopole and the ground plane, what does that change? And then finally, the airbox. So this is kind of the fun part, especially if you're not an antenna expert. Um, if you're just an undergrad playing around with antennas, optimization and tuning is the fun part because you could tinker around, mess around and see uh, what works, what is not.